My name is Dan Meisick, CEO and founder of Medical Shipment. Medical Shipment sells medical supplies and equipment to nursing schools all across the country. Right now, we're actually going through that right now. The biggest challenge that we have currently at Medical Shipment is um, human capital, employees. And you always want to try to um, push your employees to be the best that they can within the department or within the job role that they're um, currently at. And right now, um, myself and my operations manager are redoing our entire um, job description, accountability measures, and measuring how they're doing that at every quarter. So we're going through um, literally from every single department employee that's there and revamping every single person's job description to tie in the accountability measures for what they're going to be doing and um, hopefully motivating them to continually do a better job. The best business advice that I've been given is test the market on how much you can make within that product. So. If it's a $100 product and you can push it up to $110 and not get any pushback. If you can push it to $120, $130, $140, $150. But once you start feeling the customer pulling back, you're not purchasing that product and whatever that price point is, um, from that standpoint, that's where your sweet spot is. So don't leave any money on the table. You've always heard that saying. That's probably one of the uh, best pieces of advice. So... What our company does is always try to stay on top um, of the industry, and I'll elaborate a little bit further on that. So right now we're going through um, a revamp, a complete revamp of our 2018-2019 catalog within medical shipment. And when we went, when we first started with that, we took in all the different competitors' catalogs, we literally put it onto the conference room table, and we went through and we said, okay, what do we like from this competitor? What do we like from this competitor? What do we like from this competitor? And so on. And we picked and choose, you know, fonts, colors, layouts, et cetera, from every competitor that was, um, that was literally on the table. And we took that information back to our designer, gave her that information, and we tried to, you know, put together the best catalog from all the other competitors that are out there. So don't reinvent the wheel. Um, try to stay on top of everything that you're currently utilizing from different competitors, different people that are out there. And another thing also, uh, when we revamped our website, everybody probably knows Amazon, and we went to our developers overseas and we said, okay, this is the ordering process with Amazon from start to finish. We gave them all the screenshots and build this out for us. So don't reinvent the wheel, just try to pick and choose um, the best of what the, the current industry that you're in and stay ahead of the curve um, that would be the, the best piece of advice that I would give you guys.